Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia here with the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is the 1st of May, which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, see what I created for my first set this month, and find out how you can download the file for free if you're a subscriber to my channel. I want to say a great big welcome back to my subscribers and regular viewers. I'm so glad that you're here again. If this is your first time to my channel and you're going to want to download the file for free, make sure to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even tap on that bell for notifications. If Sheetload of Cards is new to you, let me tell you a little bit about it. I stop by each month with a free printable file for my subscribers that is two pages. On the first page, you have the sketch and supply list. It tells you all of the supplies you need and the dimensions and alternatives to create the cards for the month. Now I call this sheet load of cards because it's kind of a play on another word and you get lots of cards usually out of each file. For instance, this month, with only two pieces of pattern paper and some cardstock, you're going to yield 12 cards. You'll have these all ready to go. And with this quarantine time, I don't know about you, but I've been trying to send out more cards to friends and family. So this is a great way to stock up on those cards and get those sent out. As always, if you're not interested in making a whole bunch of cards and you just want to make one, I do give the dimensions for just a single card. And then also some alternatives here at the bottom. You could add embellishments, you could use a different shape for your sentiment, you could turn your cards if you wanted to. The possibilities are endless. I don't know if you've already noticed, but starting this month, I do have a new logo for sheet load of cards. Let's take a minute to admire that. Just joking. But no, I am pretty excited about the new logo. Let me know below if you are too. And like I said, the file has two pages and on the second page, I give you the cutting guides so you can cut all these papers and wind up with the 12 cards that look like this. Now, if you're gonna get started on this month's sheet load of cards before I come back with the process video, make sure to pay careful attention to this section down here. There are some specific instructions for cutting. Speaking of process video, I will be back tomorrow to show you how I made the first set, which I'm going to show you here in a little bit. But before we get to that, I have a couple reminders that I want to tell you about. First of all, tomorrow not only will I be back with the process for my video, but all of my collaborators will be sharing their creations either on their YouTube channel, their Instagram account, or their blog. Everybody is linked below if you want to go ahead and get subscribed and follow them so you're ready for that. And then second of all, I am celebrating my 10,000 subscriber with a giveaway. I announce it over the weekend, so if you haven't went there and got the details, I will have that video linked in the description box below and at the end of this video in a card. And just a preview of it, I'm giving away four $25 gift cards. And because these are online gift cards, it is open to US and international subscribers. I hope you'll check that out when you're done here. Are you ready to see the cards I made this month? You may have noticed that unlike some of the previous months, there aren't as many variations of this month's card, at least in the set I made. You are always free to switch it up as much as you want, but because I wanted a lot of thinking of you cards just to send out to people to tell them I'm thinking of them, I did not switch up the sentiments this month, and the only difference between the left and the right pile is where the pattern papers are placed. I'm not going to send more than one to a recipient so they'll never know that theirs wasn't one of a kind. Well, I got so excited pointing out my new logo, I forgot to tell you about some other information that's at the top of this page. If you want to make these cards and share them online, I have started putting the hashtags up at the top that you should use. 
always you'll do hashtag show us your sheet load and then I have a personalized one for each month. This month it is SUYS May 2020. I do have a video on my channel that gives you more specifics on how to show us your sheet load. It is linked in the description box below, but you can play along here on YouTube, on your Instagram account, or you can send in a card for my end of the month show us your sheet load feature video. So remember a couple minutes ago when I told you about my giveaway? I am back to tell you the secret word for today's video. Now to find out more about these secret words, make sure to watch the announcement video where I tell you all of the details. But for today, the secret word is sheet load. Now I'll let you know how you can download the file for yourself. First of all, I do ask that you are a subscriber to my channel. I do not follow up on this or make you email me for a password. We're going to go with the honor system here. So if you are a subscriber and you want to download the file, I have a link all the way in the bottom of my description box below. You'll click on that and you can just either open it and look at it on screen or you can open it and print it. Don't forget that tomorrow I'll be back to show you exactly how I made these cards and all of my collaborators will have their videos, blog posts, or Instagram posts up tomorrow for you to see what they did with this month's sheet load of cards. If you enjoyed this video, as always, I appreciate a thumbs up. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above. And if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.